वेलकम टू एजुकेशनल चैनल ऑफ सुरेश भट्ट क्लासेस क्वांटिटेटिव एप्टीट्यूड वीडियो ऑन एलिगेशन एंड मिक्सचर पार्ट टू हियर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व थ्री क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स टू क्वेश्चन नंबर एट लेट अस स्टार्ट सॉल्विंग द क्वेश्चंस एंड द क्वेश्चन इज वेसल ए एंड बी कंटेन मिक्सचर ऑफ इथेनॉल एंड वॉटर इन द रेशो वन रेशो वन एंड थ्री रेशो वन रिस्पेक्टिवली इन वॉट रेशो दीज टू बी मिक्सड टू ऑप्टेन अ मिक्सचर ऑफ इथेनॉल एंड वॉटर इन द रेशो फाइव रेशो थ्री नाउ वी सेपरेट दीज एंड फाइंड द पोर्शन ऑफ इथेनॉल इन द टोटल मिक्सचर एंड पोर्शन ऑफ वॉटर इन द टोटल मिक्सचर इथेनॉल रेशो वॉटर इन वेसल ए the ratio of ethanol and water is 1 ratio 1 it means ethanol is one part out of two parts also water is one part out of two parts as 1 plus 1 is 2 in vessel b the ethanol and water is in the ratio 3 ratio 1 it means that ethanol is three part out of four part because 3 plus 1 is 4 and water is one part out of four part in vessel b now our required ratio of ethanol and water is 5 ratio 3 it means ethanol we require five parts in eight parts which is 5 plus 3 is 8 and water we require three parts in eight parts now we can apply our allegation rule so we solve it with taking our base as ethanol so in vessel a we have one part out of two part and in vessel b we have three parts out of four parts so we write 1 upon 2 and 3 upon 4 and we need the ethanol in the final mixture is 5 upon 8 so we write our mean value as 5 upon 8 on subtracting 5 upon 8 from 3 upon 4 3 upon 4 is 6 upon 8 so we subtract 5 upon 8 from 6 upon 8 and we get 1 upon 8 similarly 1 upon 2 is 4 upon 8 and we subtract 4 upon 8 from 5 upon 8 we get 1 upon 8 thus in the final mixture we get equal to 1 upon 8 ratio 1 upon 8 this is nothing else but 1 ratio 1 so when we mix the mixture of vessel a and vessel b in 1 ratio 1 we are going to get the required ratio of ethanol to water is 5 ratio 3 when we mix it in ratio 1 ratio 1 we can verify this also say both the vessels have 100 ml of solution so in 100 ml vessel a has ethanol it has half of it is ethanol and half of it is water so 50 ml is ethanol and 50 ml is water in vessel b the ethanol is three part out of four part so it will be 75 ml and 25 ml so ethanol will be 75 ml and water will be 25 ml if we add these so we get 125 ml of ethanol and 75 ml of water if we mix it in 1 ratio 1 as our answer is 1 ratio 1 so if we mix these two so we get 50 plus 75 as 125 ml of ethanol and 75 ml of water so ethanol ratio water equal to 125 ratio 75 this is equal to we divide this by 25 and we get 5 ratio 3 and this was the required ratio of ethanol and water in the final mixture this way we can verify our answer we go to the next question the question is in what ratio rice a and b of price rupees 80 and rupees 120 per kg respectively be mixed 
so as to get a profit of 20% on selling at the price rupees 108 per kg. Here the profit is given. In the questions in which profit or loss is given, then we have first to find the cost price and then we should apply the allegation rule. So we will first find out the cost price and we know that the cost price equal to 100 multiplied by selling price which is 108 8 in this case upon 100 plus rate of profit which is 100 plus 20 which is 120. So we cancel the 0 of numerator by 0 of denominator and 12 divides 108 for 9 times. So our cost price is 10 multiplied by 9 is 90 per kg. Now we can apply our rule. Variety A of rice is costing rupees 80 per kg. So we write 80 and variety B costs rupees 120 per kg. So we write 120 and our mean price which is cost price after mixing is 90. So we subtract 90 from 120 we get 30 and we subtract 80 from 90 and we get 10. So variety A ratio variety B equal to 30 ratio 10. This is equal to 3 ratio 1. So we have to mix variety A and B in the ratio 3 ratio 1 to get the required profit of 20% by selling at rupees 108 per kg. In such type of questions we have first to find the cost price and we should not directly put this selling price as our mean price. We go to the next question. The question is find the ratio in which two varieties of tea costing rupees 160 and rupees 240 per kg are mixed and sold at rupees 252 per kg making a profit of 20 percent. Here again we have to find the cost price of the mixture and we will find the cost price. Cost price equal to 100 multiplied by selling price which is 252 in this case divided by 100 plus percentage of profit which is 20. So 100 plus 20 is 120. Now we cancel 0 of 100 by 0 of 120 and 12 divides 252 for 21 times. 12 times 2 is 24. 24 when subtracted from 25 we get 1 and we carry 2. 12 divided by 12 is 1. So it is 21. And 21 multiplied by 10 is 210. So our cost price is 210. Now we apply the allegation rule. The variety, say variety A is of rupees 160 per kg. So we write 160 and variety B is 240 and our mean price of selling the mixture is 210. So on subtracting 210 from 240 we get 30 and on subtracting 160 from 210 we get 50. So variety A ratio variety B of both the T is 30 ratio 50. This is 3 ratio 5. We divide both the number by 10 and we get 3 ratio 5. So when we mix variety A of T with variety B of T in the ratio 3 ratio 5 then on selling at rupees 252 we are going to make a profit of 20 percent. You are complete this part of the video. Please watch all the parts to understand complete topic. Please give your like, share it among your friends who are preparing for the competitive exams. Don't forget to subscribe this channel. Also press bell icon to get the latest notifications and always respect your parents.